If you see something, do something. Stand up to end violence against women now. Tonight's Insight segment focuses on the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. The United Nations actually launched its media campaign earlier this year using a familiar face to bring awareness to what some call an epidemic. Take a look at these statistics from the United Nations. Up to 70% of women experience violence in their lifetime. The cost of intimate partner violence in the United States alone is nearly $6 billion per year. And of the half million to two million people trafficked annually, 80% of the victims are women and girls. They land in prostitution, forced labor, slavery, or servitude. One of the most recent cases making international headlines, three women enslaved at a South London home for three decades. And you may also recall the case in the U.S. city of Cleveland. An unemployed bus driver held three women captive over a decade. The women came of age in the house under threats of death, multiple miscarriages, repeated rapes, and savage beatings. And yet another story is capturing worldwide attention. In Colombia, a famous nightclub owner suggested a woman allegedly raped outside his club may have invited the attack by wearing a miniskirt. Although the comments were later retracted, protests continued, bringing up a national debate on violence against women. Our CCTV correspondent, Michelle Bege, has this story from Bogota. Women dressed in miniskirts mobilized outside a Colombian famed night spot to protest comments by its owner that a Colombian woman's high hemline may have contributed to her alleged sexual assault. Although the owner, Andres Jaramillo, of this nightclub, Andres Carne de Res, did retract a statement, the damage was done, and women's rights activists have taken the moment to shed a spotlight on the Colombian machismo culture basically saying, no, I have the right to wear whatever I want, wherever what I want, and do whatever I want, and that doesn't give anyone the right to touch me or to rape me or et cetera. Ashley Celeste Kaufman was one of the organizers of the miniskirt protests. She says it has received more attention than she ever expected, making this an issue that goes beyond the incident. The comments he made are still representative of a larger societal problem that needs to be addressed and that, that permits rapes and other violations of women's rights to go unnoticed and to go unaddressed because maybe they didn't get as much media attention. As a government delegate for women and children's rights, Susana Rodriguez Caro works every day towards bringing to light violence against women in a patriarchal society. In this machismo culture, you see violence against women that can be verbal, psychological, and physical. It just takes one comment to make an attack, even about how you dress, which is what we saw in the earlier case. According to Mrs. Rodriguez, government studies show that from January to June of this year, there were more than 20,000 cases of violence against women. This year, the United Nations singled out the Colombia government. The UN said, there is a pandemic that needs to be stopped in Colombia. Like pandemics, a machismo culture will not vanish overnight. But for victims of violence, it may be comforting to know that there are citizens and officials working to bring this to light. Michelle Begue, CCTV, Bogotá, Colombia.